but continue playing XCOM, enemy unknown. When we last left off, we had sorted out our soldiers. We now have names, we have survivors, and we have people who will gladly give their lives for the glory of XCOM. Now, the three survivors, I've just I've basically gone down to sort of a list of people who requested, and also Dr. Nimbug was in there because he survived the last game. He deserves a spot in the new one. So, he's there. And he's a sniper, which is fairly useful. Right, I think what we're going to do now, rather than purchase anything else, we're just going to scan for activity and let the game continue a bit. Alien abduction sites. Let's view them. Commander, we've picked up multiple requests for assistance. Abductions in progress are marked on the hollow globe. So, we can go to either Nigeria, uh, United States, or India. And we th I think we want to go to India. Although we actually, because basically it has engineers, so we are going to... Hmm. Thinking about this. Nigeria, we don't mind going up because we are sooner or later going to take Africa um, and put satellites over it, so we don't mind that one going up a little. The United States, we're actually less likely to um, to make a attempt to... Ca uh, I don't know what I mean. We're less likely to try and get um, satellite coverage over all of it. And India's already in our sort of um, main continent. But... The engineers will be useful. Alright, it's a bad decision, but we're going to Nigeria. So, here is our team. And we're actually going to take out... Um, Take out the heavy and add a different, um, a different rookie. So, get down this. Um, I should also point out um, that I basically put them. I had everyone on the list, and I just um, applied everybody as they came down. With random starting stats, you get what you're given. So, rookie Afro, you're up. To Nigeria. So yeah, we're going to go for money, we're going to get then um, engineering um, facility built. Dropship has arrived. Yep, begin the assault. Listen up, we're going to be oh, dropping you deep in the Nigerian interior God. for the next operation. Ah. I really dislike this layout. It basically demands that you sacrifice people. Central, this is Big Sky. I know XCOM is all about sacrifice. Roger, Big Sky. Reading you five by five. Strike one has the green light for deployment. Oh, darn you. There should be two groups and probably only about four aliens. Because this is an easy mission. So, ample chance of success then, we think. Here we've got in position, switch to a sniper rifle and prepare. And you, Ralstron. Run to there. Encounter in the last move. That does one alien group discovered. Right. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to shuffle around, actually. Uh, you can stay there on Overwatch. You are going to shuffle around to there as well. Since we know roughly where, we are, where they are, we're just going to stick close. Only one Overwatcher with a pistol. And a miss from the new uncles. It's fine, we can live with that. Oh, and there's the other two. If I'm right, that will only they, those are the four we're gonna have to fight. And that'll be it. Yeah, just look at the amount of non-cover we have here. Alright, let's find out how accurate we are. 34% chance on both. Seven damage. We don't need the critical, so we can just get away with just a normal shot. But only 34% chance from there. You can move to there, which gives reaction shots. I should have thought about that a little. My fault. But, this does put you within grenade range of... No, it doesn't. Hmm. 
Alright, it puts them within exploding car range, though. Let's go with that. The objective here just to make the cars explode and get rid of the car. Right, so both of those are now on fire. If I go run gun, down. I can move you to there. Actually have 38, yeah. Not not brilliant, but um, monthly you can go there and keep things secured. You're going to take a shot at this guy. Missed. No way that just happened. It did. There was a good chance of it happening as well, actually, but... Um, Damn it. Right, you're going to run to there. And go overwatch. Right, their move. Let's see what they do. Side linkage. We don't mind that. Puts you at risk. You decide to stay there, which means you're going to suffer exploding cars at the face next turn. In fact, you're going to suffer exploding cars at the face now. Not quite lethal, though. That's fine. So, the odds are 34% at the moment. Let's see if we can't... Yeah, there's just nowhere we can move to. Move you to there, though. I suppose what you can do, then, is go grenade toss on this guy. What's your actual chance of hitting? 32%. We'll take that for now. One in three. We well, hit. That puts him within grenade death. Which means I could use you aggressively to go and um, kill this guy. Alright, let's give our sniper a chance. Actually, the sniper should be able to do it with a pistol, shouldn't he? Pistols do free damage. If we assume he's definitely going to die, which is a big assumption, then moving there isn't actually much of a risk. We're still in cover. Didn't increase our accuracy chance though. Go for it. Adjust your name. Right. We won't use you um, there to shit. We'll have you run. Oh, done it. Should have to there. The wrong side of things, oh well. Boom. Frag out. Two down. And we get some weapon fragments from that, so hopefully now we um we will be okay. Next time we're gonna have you advance. What's your odds of hitting? 12%. Just go into Overwatch then. <laughs> Random fire from fire. somewhere we can't see. And that's for you. Uh, Ow. But we'll survive that just about because of no Chris no critical chance going off there. Car goes boom. Another car goes boom. See we're learning. Don't keep people next to fire. Cause fire kills. Ralstrom. Now I've got um, him out of cover. 50% chance of a kill. No. Shot failed to connect. Right. Uh, Bumpley, you can go to there and have a go. 47%. 50 shots. There we go. Shotgun to face. Victory to the Bumpleys. Right, now we just need to go and find this last guy. There we go. Found him. Oh, we did find him. Overwatch for you. Do one call moves behind the fire. There we go. Fortunately, we're limited to pistol only, really, so... And you're actually not good with it. Overwatch. Alright, no movement whatsoever. Did he go and do something sneaky, or...? Oh boy, how's a sniper rifle aim looking? 14%. Not good, but um, 
No real harm in having a go, I guess. Afro! Let's have you move around first. And you apparently can't see, so what we will do is we shall go and set up a careful explosion. There. I'm going to weaken him without Incoming. killing him. Alright, car's on fire, so he will that have to run. This means it is, though, we can use Nubuncle a bit more aggressively in the knowledge that, um... There we go. Fire pistol, 19%. Go for it. 19% chance. Kill. Accomplished. Operation Purple Saviour is a success. And we suffered no casualties. We got some corpses. And we got, um... Commander to the Situation Room. And we got Commander a wounded Rolstrom. Room. 33 days. The um, the mod we're using massively improve, increases wound time. Uh, Parapra didn't get a kill, so remains a rookie. But um, Bunkley and Nubunkle progress in their perspective routes. We now have enough weapon fragments. And we can build laboratories and workshops, but we could do that anyway. We will 200 be credits. Touch, Commander. What we want to do now, then is to build a workshop facility there. Work crews are on their way to begin we then want to build a laboratory. The new facility is operational. Do you want to build it there? Commander to the Situation Room. Commander to the Situation Room. If you will get the funding to get the um, other satellite uplink ready, but I think we want to build a lab as well. Increases research speed by 29%. And gives us five additional scientists. So what we will do when we get to the second level is put another one underneath both of those if we decide to do that. We might not. So that means this place is we alien containment. We'll build the... How much money do we need? Need a bit more than that. And we are going to need um, power before too much longer. Commander to the Situation Room. Yes, yes, Commander. yes, yes. Every member of the Council is going to want satellite coverage. So we should plan our deployments carefully. Indeed we should. So we get $100 a month from Japan. We do want to try and launch another satellite as soon as we can. Uh, our current facilities allow us to have two in orbit. We do want one probably in the United States because it is one of the more expensive uh, nations we can get at this stage. Yeah. That's the one advantage of going in Euro Europe, actually. All of the European nations are quite rich. But the bonus expert knowledge isn't that good. So currently we're earning two additional engineers a month from having Asia. So I'm receiving you. We'll monitor that contact, but I don't think it's related to the UFO activity. No, it isn't. Silence. Uh, other things we can buy now. Satellites will be cheaper once um, the engineers arrive. I'm still having a hard time grasping what it is that aliens are hoping normal, to accomplish apparently. here. Are they studying us? Why abduct humans seemingly at random? I don't know. Scatter activity. Contact detected. Oh, UFO. Right, we're going to scramble interceptors. We have two currently. We should have no problems taking this out. Which reminds me, I think we want to buy a third one as soon as we get one. As soon as we get an opportunity. We have eyes on the bandit. Thankfully, this will be overland, so, um,. Yeah, no terror from the deep missions. Impact. Impact. Very light damage. We shot down a UFO. And that means you must send a Sky Ranger. Right. This time, we are sending in all of our orange clearance citizens. Uh, Rookie Afro gets... Actually, do we want to send a heavy in here? I think we do want to send a heavy in here, actually. So, yeah, we're going to go with everybody. Launch the mission. Strike one. Prepare for landing. Begin assault. You'll be heading into Japan for the next mission. Operation Severed Hero. Will this be as successful as the last one? I doubt it. But um, it's a small UFO, so there'll be three groups, I think. Strike one is in position to engage. Loud and clear, Big Sky. We'll monitor those readings from here. Strike one is authorized to assault the alien craft. Okay. 
no worries. We'll use an early run gun. Even at the speed of death. I always like to use that on my first turn when we got it. Just make sure we get to our Ooh, we seen an alien. Or saw an alien. That's rather annoying. Um, rookie? Your job is to move there and find it. So the alien is visible there, is it? What the heck? Okay, the alien was visible. If it comes anywhere in sight, we're going to destroy it. Oh, there it is. And they've moved away. I should really have had a look around the map, shouldn't I? Oh well. No worries. We've used up our run gun, so we don't want to use. Um, so we don't want to use that again. Now you can move to there. That's fine. You can overwatch at the moment. Uh, you could dash to there, but that's not going to help us much. Your job then, Parapher, is to get to there. New bunker can actually. Bumpley can stay there. Genefuse, I think you're going over to there. Just in case there's another group we can't see. Also, it gives us time to go and uh, reset your. Um, there we go. The aliens move to nowhere, seemingly. I think your job is activate the aliens now, Enemy Mr. Spotted. Afro. Miss Afro. Right, your accuracy is 32 and 32. You're actually not a bad at soldier in terms of accuracy. Uh, you're going to have to get Overwatch for now. Alright, they're out of grenade range. That's actually very good accuracy considering that. Be a dash move, and you can't get close enough. Right, so you can stay there. You will dash to there, though. Because you've got a run gun next turn. Should be fine. I don't want to have a shot at this guy. Let's go for it. Oh, good shot, but not a kill. Uh, you might as well overwatch. They're probably Silink. Yeah, they do. Okay, revenge shot coming in then, I imagine. That's a bit of a surprise that you um, Silink and then move closer. That seems a bit silly. I'm taking fire. That's a miss, though. Right, we can run gun that guy to death, I believe. Or, you go headshot, 14% chance though. Well, you've overcome, um, you've overcome accuracy issues before, might as well have a go. Damn it, missed the target. Yeah. Right, 12% chance with that one. But if we move you to hardcover here. You're now flanking that one. 53% chance. You're good. You're just not getting the kills. <laughs> right. What are your odds? Not brilliant, to be honest. You might as well not fire, actually. Right. Even at the speed of death. Run gun. So, where can we move to that's safe? That's probably the safest spot if that counts as cover and probably flanking as well. 51. Oh, darn it. Missed the target. Now the grenade range and also your gunnery range is not impressive. Overwatch. Darn it, that didn't go quite well. Didn't go quite as well as I'd hoped. We've 
if the rookie's still alive, we're going to have to give her the double kill here, because she's kind of earned it, having damaged both of them. Alright, there wasn't an overwatch, so what we can do... Still not good, though. 53 versus 32. Go for the kill. Ah, oh, damn it! Right, move closer. Heavy accuracies. 34%, go for it. There we go. Double kill. Nailed him! Double kill, two weapon fragments, and no explosives. I'm sure Dr. Valen will be ecstatic about this. Right, you bunkle, uh, run to there. Have a regular Back round. Here. Just because you don't want to get caught out with, um, without full ammo. The ship. Yeah, the ship's up that way. Okay, let's go and put you first of all there. Finding not a lot. New bunker, come to there. Switch to pistol. Uh, let's see, where can you get to? Nowhere with a great amount of cover, to be really honest, so you can move to there. And that just leaves our rather unfortunate rookie. Uh, you can move to there. You actually do need to reload though, so I should probably have had a lesser move and just done that. It's killing time. You can reload, you can go into Overwatch. And you can have a reload. Locked and loaded. <laughs> Right, group over there. What was that? Right, that changes things slightly. Let's go and have you shuffle around to there. You can shuffle to there. Weapon hot. Two found. Right, out of range for now. What was that? You can go Overwatch. You won't go. Move to there because that's part half cover in both directions. Overwatch. You are going to move to there and reload. Let's rock. Now I kind of wish I'd put you in a slightly better position, really, but um, Overwatch. <laughs> Psionic weirdness. And long range shooting. Incoming over here. Which misses. Right. Now I'm looking at Rum Gun again here. Because I always look at Rum Gun when I um, have you. Let's move you to there first and see if we can't find the other one. Right. What are your odds? 1% and 18%. Not brilliant. Uh, okay, you can't really get close enough this round. You can at least get to some form of cover which puts you closer. You can't do outrunning though. In fact, we are going to run you. Because you deserve a kill currently, and you haven't got one. <laughs> In the meantime, let's move our sniper a little closer. Alright, she can actually have a shot here, it looks like. 14% accuracy. How far is grenade range? Not far enough. But it would be far enough with you. Let's go for it. I guess we're just some cover, weakens it, and pretty much guarantees that they will do another Sonic Link. 
Overwatch is away. So they should do another one now. They don't though. Taking fire over so here. Miss and second shot. Let's run at new bunkle. Ah! Help! 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 Someone help! Uh, oh, calm uh, down. Uh, it's only a flesh wound. You've suffered worse. You've suffered far, far worse, actually. Right, so neither of the aliens are silenced, which means I can't get a double kill on them. But... Oh, darn it. Fine. Your kill. There you go. Catch. You're explaining to Dr. Valen why that happened. Right. 34% chance from there. Let's go for it. Uh, I look forward to hollow targeting and also scopes. And many, many other things. Right, run gun. Is there anywhere with part some cover before we get there, though? Not in that direction, really. So, we're gonna gamble. Odds 55%. That's not. In That's not good. Adjusting sights. That's really not good. They're falling back. Right, retreat. Is that a double move or? That was a double move. Right, chase the sectoid! I've had enough of this in multiplayer games, chasing single sectoids who really annoy me. Uh, oh dear god, they're mild. They just basically split up the group there. Yeah, I'm gonna have to run you up. This is a port. You're gonna move to there and go Overwatch. Meanwhile, you're going to get Overwatch as well. Next up. You move to there. Now that you have stopped panicking. Alright, come on little sectoid. He did not move, did not make any form of Overwatch attempt. That means I can move to here. And go. 51% chance of hitting. Boom. Down. Right. And now that that fun has been taken care of, we can actually move towards the ship again. Uh, right. You might call around to there. Actually quite in good position there, actually, if we can get the, um, the last remaining alien to come out. You can run your way up to here. Having earned your promotion for the day. Then you. You, I think, move to there. Our heavy is our all purpose. If all else goes, if all else fails, the heavy can kill the um, the last remaining alien or alien group. Right, you need to run all the way back. There's probably no aliens around, so we're not going to bother with um, anything. You're just going to dash your way back. Alright, new Munkle advances. And he goes into Overwatch from there. So that's a good spot. Miss Afro moves to there. Now, I wanted to keep these videos under half hour, but we're approaching sort of a limit of that now. I'd also rather not have um, videos ending in the middle of missions, if I can avoid it. I think your job actually now is to move up. I don't think you need to reload, but we might as well do it now. Locked and you can always run guns, so you've always got that extra bit of distance if you need it. Right, you're not going to advance in straight away. You're going to dash to solid cover, which is there. Or full cover. Clear to engage. There we go. Right. That's a being of almost pure energy. Ah, but not entirely pure energy. 
Right, this is why we left you up. What's your odds to hit? 24%. I'm starting to question your your um, credentials as a sniper. Right. You really can't do a lot there, but... I reloaded this turn, didn't I? Yeah, it's between you two. Now, I could go and um, use a grenade, do some damage, but it wouldn't be enough damage. So... 22%. It's not good enough. You're going to have to advance. Taking a few risks here, I'll be honest, but 35% this time. It's of a kill, though. No. Damn it! Enemy is still alive! Don't need the headshot to uh, kill him, but we will anyway. 24. 1 in 4. I should question your credentials as a sniper more. Your accuracy is terrible, but you're an awesome sniper. It, It's a contradiction, and it's... It's it's bizarre. New Bungle? Awesome job. Back to base. An exemplary performance. Let's hope all of these operations go as smoothly as this one did. Well, let's not get too carried away, because um, if they all go that well, this would be a boring LP. So, you are promoted to Clearance Yellow, and we have an option of what to give you here. Now, I've seen, I've, in recent times, been more inclined to go aggression, because that just means that the um, you have more chance of actually getting the kill, as opposed to surviving quite close to um, enemies, if that makes sense. Also, armor tends to cover that anyway. We're going to go aggression. Especially with the lower accuracy, we need our guaranteed hits to guarantee the kills. Alright, new bunkle. Your aim... There we go. We can either take snapshot, which allows you to move and fire with a... Um, or move overwatch with a sniper rifle. Or squad sight. I'm going squad sight, because... Clearly, accuracy is not your thing. And having a minus 20 aim penalty there is probably not a good thing for you. Mind you, being able to see what other people see is always a good thing. Just like it sounds, the support class provides that intangible edge our squads need. They make everyone around them better. And we have our first support. We have our sir, first support squad, which is awesome. Right, we get an alien power nav computer and alien power source. Ooh, we got one intact. That's quite rare, actually, on the first bit. So now we can go to the Several great market. members of the council have expressed an interest in acquiring some of the artifacts we've recovered. Yes, 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 yes. However, yes. we should be careful in choosing what items we release. The research team may not have discovered their true value yet. That's because they're not researching fast enough. But basically, we get some Illyrium alien alloys. We get a power source and a flight computer, which is quite an awesome thing to get this early. You don't normally get the full power source until much later. Having damage components can always be sold. They don't cost... They, they have no benefit. You just sell them, and that's extra money. We have to sell off five of the corpses. The artifact corpses, we're about to sell to the and... council hasn't been examined by the research team. I'm sure Dr. Volland would be... disappointed if we put financial gains ahead of our own research and development. I'm going to sell all that off, so that gives us 70 credits. Why do we want 70 credits? I'm not actually 100% sure. Um, we need 75, I think, for the... Um, the containment when that comes around. Alright, we're going to build the lift. We want to get down to the second floor and start excavating towards the steam. We want that steam generator and we're going to actually need it before too much longer. So, that's the plan. Excavate there, excavate there. Put a steam power source there. It'll all be good. We do want though to save up and build another satellite uplink so we can get more satellites built. Right. So that is the end of the second video and success. Lots and lots of success. I've said my bit about um, Dwayne Wallace. Hey, rest in peace. But no, no other casualties, which is a surprise, I'll be honest. So next time we're going to send some more rookies out because we need to um, get people promoted. We're going to keep both of our corporals in the squads for the moment for as long as they can because, yeah, we might as well get some experienced soldiers. And if one of them makes the sergeant, we can buy the, um, the officer training skill, which is a useful thing to get early. And also, all of our benefits from the officer training school are quite cheap. 
because we're in Asia. So it'll basically be um, Buntley and New Uncle, along with um, Anion and T-Man joining us for the next mission. Alstron will come back as soon as he is finished being wounded. So, until next time.